Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your August 2023 general monthly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. To my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for being so supportive and patient as always. Um, I did have a little bit of a gap in uploads and so things are changing with my schedule. So you will still get the uh, monthly readings and I think I'm going to do a mid-month and instead of weekly uploads, I think I'm going to do weekly live. Um, just because I want to keep the weeklies going, but with my schedule, it, things can change. Um, so this is like my fourth attempt to record your reading. I was having, and it's only your reading that I was having difficulties with the microphone shutting off on me. Um, you know, I when I went to play back after I had finished the uh, video, I realized that half of the video half of the reading had some sort of uh mic feedback like an annoying high-pitched like uh well, i don't want to say annoying but yeah <laughs> really loud high-pitched sound for the first half of the month now i do want to say that in the previous reading this one looks like the energy is a bit different here um although you did have the five of pentacles here but i believe it was here on the bottom row However, I did have very strong um, heart chakra uh, healing energy that was needed, uh, especially those that have suffered a loss or have been going through some sort of grieving. I also felt that there was messages, and I'm going to include them in this one, even if you, if even if they don't come up here. But I also have this um, strong message about money that you may have had somewhere that you forgot about or like stumbling across money. For example, an old 401k. I feel like this is a very important message for someone to look into old accounts um, that maybe you forgot about or that time has gone on. Maybe you felt like you had withdrawn everything or transferred everything out. Uh, it, that is kind of what was coming up there. So I do feel like there is money coming your way, unexpected money and money that you may have forgotten about. There could also be an opportunity for like growth, promotion, changes in the workplace for the better. So that's also was what was coming through in the re in the previous one. Now I really want to touch back on the initial message because um, I do. I do believe that when we have spirit energies, um, you know, spirits, uh, deceased loved ones from the other side, they do tend to mess with our electronics, uh, with lights, especially maybe there's a specific light bulb that you've had to keep replacing over and over and over again. Um, and, and it's not that there's anything wrong. I just feel like that is kind of spirit's way of trying to get a hold of you, trying to get uh, a message to you, trying to get your attention. But I did have from this deck, Archangel Raphael, who was coming through, um, you know, making his presence known that if at any point you felt like em a completely emotionally overwhelmed at times, especially like in the middle of your day when you're at work, uh, to really call on him to invoke his healing green light, his healing energy, especially those of you that have suffered uh, big losses, okay? So um, if you needed to hear any of that, all of that, some of that, <laughs> that was definitely in the last reading. If you still want me to publish it, I will publish it kind of like a bonus reading just so that you guys can get the entire higher reading but just be forewarned the first half of the video has a really high loud pitched like noise like feedback in the background so it may be difficult to sit through and listen okay maybe you want to listen to it or watch it with captions on um but it's you know it's it i feel like somebody did need to hear that okay and like back to what i was saying i do feel as though there are 
um, ways that spirit or, you know, our angels uh, can tend to maybe reach out to us, play with us, uh, get our attention. And definitely playing with electronics is one of them. Now, we're also in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. And me being a Virgo ruled by uh, Mercury, this could also be another fact um, that, you know, Mercury retrogrades got my brand new mic giving me trouble. I, you know, need to replace it already. And I haven't even had it for two months. What's up with that? Okay, so you've got Journey and First Chakra Archangel Michael and Contract. Okay, so you have the card of Journey. Journey could be your spiritual journey, taking a journey. Maybe you're looking into traveling, uh, going somewhere like on a spiritual retreat. Uh, I feel like some of you here have this feeling, this energy, this want of following your bliss. Uh, I definitely felt that in the previous reading that this was an opportunity for you to make changes where it feels like it's a brand new chapter in your life um you know i feel like there some of you may be holding on to something uh feeling like you're holding yourself back like maybe it's not time maybe you're not ready oh that was another card that came through at the end of the reading i'm gonna pull three angel answers oracle cards and um and uh you know, one of the cards that came out was the card of you're ready. Okay. So any type of journey that you've been thinking of going on, maybe you're not quite sure. Maybe there's some big changes or you're thinking of uh, switching career fields or uh, big life changes that aren't something that you would just kind of make a quick snap decision over, but rather something that you really have to do your due diligence and going over uh, the details of. I do feel like there is an opportunity for you to look into, for you to just take that leap of faith, start looking at other, other places that maybe you can travel to, that you can go to. I do also feel that if you are on this path of spiritual awakening or a spiritual journey, I feel like you're about to go in deeper and you're really going to hone in on what your spiritual gifts, skills, and abilities are. Um, you also have the first chakra, Archangel Michael. Our lovely Archangel Michael statue is here. Archangel Michael, first chakra, that is your root chakra, your base chakra. Uh, Archangel Michael is, you know, the archangel that is like God's protector, or, you know, the helper of God who protects, you know, re regardless of what religion you practice. But he's got his powerful sword and shield. So if you feel like you need to shield yourself from negative energies, from, you know, people that just kind of, you know, seem to be getting into your energy or tapping into to your energy remember to call your energy back um if if at one point or another there was someone who was draining you like an energy vampire or someone who has perhaps taken away some of your peace of mind remember to call your energy back okay ask archangel michael to help you get grounded to clear you of any type of energetic debris especially that can turn into blockages of any kind to help bring about a sense of clarity a sense of freedom to shed away anything that you may feel may be holding you back or you know bringing you down or maybe just depleting you uh, energetically emotionally mentally spiritually physically and yes even financially okay Archangel Michael can definitely use his sword to cut away any any energetic cords from anyone that can be trying to deplete you okay so be mindful of people like that in your surroundings um i feel like you may have some sort of interaction with someone like this that you really need to pull away and pull back from and completely cut the cords with this person ask archangel michael to do that and while you're at it say it out loud if you have to i call my energy back to me even if at one point or another you gave someone permission to be around you or to you know tap into your energy you definitely need to call back your energy not everyone can be trusted with that okay you also have the card of contract and this is towards the end of the month it could be coming up anytime throughout this month but i do have to remind you that at the end of the month you have mercury in retrograde and remember 
It's very important that you read and reread any type of contracts, read the fine print. Don't just take someone's interpretation of what you are signing off on. Uh, don't just take their word for it. Do your due diligence. Have second, third, fourth eyes on this to help give you some clarity. Make sure that you fully are aware of what you're signing or what you're signing into or what you're signing away from. Um, but definitely contract of any nature will be coming up. This can also be a contract that has to do with a marriage or a dissolution of marriage, a divorce. Because you have the lovers and the devil's the devil card here back to back, which is really, I mean, I got to cover this, but it's really the, you know, the good and the bad of relationships, right? And, and I don't mean like it's a good card, bad card, but this could be, you know, a very unhealthy uh, partnership, relationship. This could be uh, getting into some sort of codependent and toxic cycle here. So be careful if there is any of that energy around you at this time. Yes, it can be your own relationship if there are bad habits or uh, codependencies between the two of you. Uh, or this could be a particular friendship relationship around you that brings that type of influence. Okay. I also feel like there is someone here who may be jealous of your relationship, like they're not in a good place and they're seeing it from the outside looking in. Uh, I just got that as I was looking at both of these, like you're all good and they are not and it really pissing them off. OK, again, shield yourself, protect yourself, call your energy back from whoever this person or these people may be at the beginning of the month. Beautiful energy here with the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, especially if if you go on a trip, if you go on a journey, if you travel, if you tend to go somewhere or you're you've gone somewhere, you're thinking of going somewhere to do, you know, have a little fun, go exploring, do your own thing. I'm also seeing someone maybe having a, a, a nice trip where you get a lot of shopping done, by the way. <laughs> I'm just feeling like a lot of good times is is there to be had. I also have the emperor and the queen of swords here queen of swords is aquarius libra gemini here the emperor is aries you also have you know a queen of wands here aries leo sagittarius so this could be a group of people that you're meeting up with that you're spending time with that you are leaning on uh, i do feel like a queen of swords energy this is the energy of someone who tends to be very straight out um, can sometimes be cutthroat and doesn't mince words if she don't like something and she's going to call them out on it. So I do feel like, you know, be careful with how things go down the, the beginning of the month. If there is someone that you are in a disagreement with, I do feel like um, just a reminder, you know, I'm not saying to hold back fully, but just a reminder that our actions uh, have consequences. So um, and be careful of getting yourself into any kind of verbal altercation that can lead, lead to something greater. Whether uh, this is, uh, you know, within a family situation, friends at work, whatever it may be, it may not be you that's telling them something, but it could be someone putting like kind of cornering you and putting you in a position or in a situation where you'll have to stand up for yourself. I do feel like you are highly favored in whatever the situation is. And so really, you know, fighting with someone who can be a bit petty really isn't worth your time energy or effort okay it's okay to let them think whatever they want to think stand your ground and stay in your energy um and just shield yourself from that kind of negativity you know in the middle of the month here with a uh, first chakra archangel michael you have the two of wands queen of wands and the five of pentacles now the five of pentacles does speak of like financial loss or poverty uh, if someone here may have lost their job Maybe you were the one that had to let someone go. Uh, I feel like they're going to let you have it and they're going to put you in a position where they're going to want you to stoop to their level, argue back, fight back, say something that can get you into trouble. Let them say and think and, you know, whatever they want to say, don't stoop to their level because they're angry. They're angry and they may be angry at you or whoever got themselves, whoever they think got them into the situation. But I don't feel that they're really thinking about how they may have gotten themselves into the situation to begin with. OK, so 
if you are being overindulgent in the first half of the month, uh, this is a really clear reminder, you know, a little warning, don't overspend. You may be, you know, completely out of funds or, you know, counting your, your pennies uh, halfway through the month and, you know, counting on that next check. So be careful of overspending. I do feel like some of you may be doing something cosmetic. I just got that. I just got that. I know it has nothing to do with this, but somebody here may be looking into getting something cosmetically done. Um, make sure that you know what you're do getting yourself into. Um, you do need to sign contracts and waivers and uh, release of liability for things like that. Make sure you know everything you're getting into. It may actually cost more and have hidden fees than you're aware of. OK, so they may have quoted you one price and then, you you know, maybe you put a deposit or whatever. And then, you know, the time comes and it's like, oh, yeah, and you've got to pay for this and you've got to pay for that. And it's like all these other extra expenses. Um, and and, you know, you may be in a position where, OK, well, now I can't do it because I didn't know there was all those other expenses, you know, and, and you may want your money back or you may want to cancel or delay it. And it's like, oh, well, too bad. You're going to lose your deposit now. Okay. So really be careful what you're signing, you know, away, uh, or what you're signing yourself up for. But I did feel like someone here may be looking into getting something done cosmetically, okay? Uh, so just keep that in mind. You don't want to end up uh, being in the red when it comes to things like that, okay? Make sure that you know everything that's included in the price, in the deal, or whatever it may be. So now... I do feel like you, with the two of wands here in the middle of the month, you may be at a crossroads when it comes to something, especially about um, if you're in a marriage or partnership long term. I do feel like the two of you have been talking about your future together, right? It doesn't matter how long you've been together. Um, if you've only been together a short while and maybe you just started dating and you're like, oh yeah, right, you know, like we're not talking about our future yet. Or if you've been together for many years, I feel like like there are many stages of relationships there's a there's a natural evolution of how you grow together and you know the plans that you set forth in the future so for some of you that have been together for a really long time i feel like there are plans that maybe you made or discussed many many years ago that was like that whole wouldn't it be so cool if we did this if we took the kids here if we did this with a family wouldn't it be awesome or wouldn't it be cool when we're able to do this and I feel like you're revisiting that okay you're going to be discussing it or it's going to come up throughout the month and probably the second half of the month but I do feel like you're starting to wonder am I at a point where I can do that and if you are just newly dating someone I feel like you guys are having those daydreamy um you know plans of your future and romanticizing like can you imagine when we're old and gray or can you imagine uh when we have kids Kids or when our kids are grown and then you know we can or when they're old enough to do this or well when we can take them there like you know like can't wait to have kids and take them to Walt Disney World it's like that type of energy you know I feel like that's that's coming up here especially towards you know the second half of the month I do feel like you have an opportunity to just live a little bit more carefree than you thought you could um uh, just spend your money wisely. I do feel like living carefree doesn't necessarily equate to being irresponsible with your finances. So make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. OK, so at the bottom, at the end of the month, you have the contract card, the lovers, the devil card and the knight of swords. Now, because I do see here, um, like I said, this could be, you know, plans for your future. The Nine of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Lover's card here. This is, you know, having these uh, beautiful conversations of making plans for the future and experiences you want to have together, whether in your relationship or as a family, if you have children. Um, with the Devil card, you have the Emperor, the Queen of Wands, the Devil here at the end. Now, the Devil and the Emperor can uh, tend to 
speak of uh, very controlled energy. This could be someone who can be very possessive and controlling, especially if you are very attractive or have a lot of people that find you to be very attractive, or this is just this person's demeanor, like they want you on lock, okay? So just keep that in mind if that's not your thing. I mean, I say that because some people like that, no judgment here. But I do feel like I need to bring that up. For some of you, I do feel and I need to cover this up because I don't want to get dinged. Um, uh, yeah, so I got to cover up their bodies. <laughs> so for some of you, the lovers and the devil card, really, it's, you know, the angel looking, the archangel here looking at Adam and Eve here, you know, very seemingly innocent and loving couple. But then we have, you know, this gargoyle devil looking, you know, uh, you know, creature here that's looking uh, down at this couple who is tied and bound, you know, it speaks of good and bad, you know, good and evil or however you want to see it as, um, but also living in love and being careful free and living in codependencies and addiction and very controlling and manipulative energies. So, you know, whatever you may feel may be going on around you, whether it's your relationship or the relationship of someone around you could be of your children and you're kind of left there to inner fear, I guess, or referee. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords. You need to be careful with that, especially next to the Devil card, because the Knight of Swords can speak of like really harsh arguments, anger that's that's coming through, especially if someone isn't in agreement with what you've got to say, right? I feel like this is someone who is always wanting to pick a fight, looking for any little thing to just like set off uh, the mood or set off your your good day and it's like great now you just ruined it well stay in your lane stay in your energy and don't give that power to anyone at all okay so what's this five of pentacles about for uh sagittarius here i hope this is recording better okay <laughs> you do have the sun card here and wow <laughs> the five of pentacles clarifies the five of pentacles you are very much worried about some sort of financial loss, poverty, feeling like there is no one there to support you, to help you in your time of need. Uh, but in reality, you are surrounded by love. The sun card is the best card of all in the deck. Now, the fact that you have the five of pentacles twice really tells me that there are fears, like really serious fears, especially if you've experienced this in the past it's like that scarcity mindset or that fear of of lack that that maybe you experienced many years ago like you know, for example, if you had a really poor and rough upbringing uh, and then you set to live a life of abundance and that you never want to go that route again and, and now you're just like, oh my God, I really hope that never happens. I really hope that never happens. But you need to be careful that if you're constantly thinking about it, then you're constantly manifesting. You're constantly calling that in. Instead, call in the opposite. You know, instead, think about how much you've overcome that because at the end of the day, the Sun card, really, to clarify two five of pentacles, the Sun card is warmth, it's happiness, it's joy, it's being able to live a, a more loving and happy and joyous and carefree life is going back to simpler times, even if you felt like, well, you grew up in scarcity, you know. So I do feel good about the sun card that is here to remind you that regardless of what you have been through, everything is always working out for you, regardless of what you've experienced and regardless of how things are at this moment. It really does start with your mindset. OK, so let's see what this devil and knight of swords card is all about. Eight of wands. One more, please. Oh, and you have the nine of cups, which is a repeated card and the high priestess now the high priestess does speak of you know being highly intuitive um tapping into your psychic gifts here mm, i i get this feeling that if you are tapping into your psychic gifts there may be someone who is saying that like um you're turning towards you know 
black magic, uh, dark magic, witchcraft, uh, uh, you're turning towards the devil things or whatever, right? I, I feel like there is that type of communication that's coming through to you. Like, it's crazy because I get this feeling like you are in a really good place um, and you're probably feeling more healed and more grounded than you have in a really long time. And yet when you share whatever spiritual practices you've been practicing, uh, when you share that with certain people, they turn it into like, oh, it's the devil's work or it's, you know, uh, be careful what you're getting yourself into. Um, you don't want to go over to the dark side, you know, when in reality, we all have the ability to tap into our psychic gifts. There is no, you know, good or bad or evil or whatever uh, that has to do with that. We all basically outgrow our subconscious mind and and you know i mean obviously it's still there but what i mean is like as children we're very in tuned and tapped in because we haven't comprehended what our families our parents our teachers are telling us that we need to know say do act behave what to do and not do so essentially as you grow up you're moving away from that subconscious mind that taps into you know the energy of of your own intuition of being able to tap into spiritual realms and to be able to um you know really see things more clearly you ever notice how you can ask a child a question and no question is ever difficult the answer comes easy to them because their life is simple their way of thinking and and seeing things it's much more simplified the as you grow older things get more complicated because there are other factors but it doesn't always have to be that way and sometimes children you know, we are born very intelligent and, you know, intuitive ch as children. And as we grow older, you know, life experiences have changed us, how we think, feel, see, how we act, how we react and where our parents have taught us this or that. And, you know, this is good and that is bad and don't do this and don't do that. Right. It's those kinds of things. Um, but I do feel like. You need to be careful with that type of energy, especially in a family situation, because I do feel that they tend to really blow things out of proportion, um, like really start gossiping and letting the rest of the family know, watch out, you know. So let's see what the tea leaf tarot has for you. Well, beautiful happiness. Uh, remember that I said I'm going to pull Angel Answers Oracle. So I'm going to pull three cards so you can ask three questions. Uh, you can ask one major question and I will combine the three Angel Answers Oracle uh, to answer your question. Or you can ask three different questions. Okay, so right after I pull these angel and oh, i'm sorry these tea leaf tarot so mice discord among friends and family and i could see that if they're being very judgmental about you know what your what healing modalities you've been working with and younger man dealings or relationship with a younger man you also have broken wish wish will not be granted okay I'm going to pull one more card for that broken wish. What is this about? Claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. Okay. If there is something that you have been thinking about doing and it felt like it was really risky and you're hoping for a positive outcome, it, this is really giving you a little bit of a warning not to do it just yet. I do feel like there needs to be more uh, research, more questions, more information that needs to be had before you move into whatever next step you are trying to move into. Okay. So let's see. You have the card of Stork, news of a birth of or a new business opportunity. You have the card of August, which is the month we're in now. So you could have good news or opportunities for new business or money. Pro look, it says bread, period of prosperity or ab and abundance in the month of August. 
You also have the card of hand in need of help, assistance, or guidance. So this could be you needing a helping hand. This could be you offering someone a helping hand. Also feel that someone just reaches out to you um, just to see if you need anything, right? It's one of those like, hey, I've been thinking about you. Are you doing all right? You know, let me know if you need anything. You know, just, just let me know. And just like for no apparent reason, almost like they reach out. Um, they mean well, don't worry. There's no weirdness behind that. I think that they've just been thinking about you. And so if the angel answers Oracle here, now you can pause this and think of one big question or think of three questions. Um, and I will pull a card and angel answers Oracle for question number one, question number two, and question number three. And then I will bring them all together and read them as one. So go ahead and pause if you need to, and then come back. And so here we go. Um, let's get some answers, clarity for Sagittarius. Question number one. Let me have angel answers. Remain positive. Whatever it is that you may be worried about, whether or not your things are going to work out in a familial situation, people getting along or not getting along, whether you're ready to make certain changes in your life, taking on a new chapter, a new journey, you're thinking of traveling more often, uh, you're trying to figure out how to really pull certain resources and people together especially if it's people that don't necessarily get along or can't stand being around each other. Uh, the card here says remain positive, okay? Now, because I did touch on someone possibly getting fired or let go, uh, if you had to be the one to make that suggestion to let them go and they're saying all kinds of things, they're running their mouth, making all kinds of threats, remain positive. I do feel like it'll blow over soon enough, okay? Uh, so let's see, question number two ask for help from others okay you got the card of the hand the helping hand here in need of help assistance and guidance i did tell you someone here may be reaching out to you they're thinking about you i feel that maybe energetically they're just sensing that you may be going through some things in your life that maybe you need the help of of anyone you know help assistance uh even if it's just you know someone to talk to uh i i do feel like that card is coming through to remind you that you don't have to go through things alone, especially if you're worried about finances. Um, and I don't feel like you are worried about not having enough money at this moment. I think some of you may be thinking of your future, right? Because I see the two of wands here. It's like, you know, I'm doing good right now, but how am I going to be five, 10 years from now? Should I start looking at, um, at you know how I'm investing my money how should I cut back on my expenses should I be looking for another job that could possibly pay me more money or have a better retirement um, you know in the long run I, I feel like these are questions that you are thinking of because I feel especially with the double five of Pentacles I feel like you may be worried that you're gonna end up like it, living some sort of poverty life as you age or as you get older, okay? But definitely ask for help from others, whether that's about your finances, investing, 401ks, things of that nature, what you can possibly do to make sure that, you know, you safeguard your future. I'm getting that very clearly. Okay, question number three. Within the next few months. Okay, so whatever you were asking about, you may have the answers that you seek, the clarity, see movement in something within the next few months. This could be within the next three months is more or less the timeline I feel with this card. So whatever this is all together, it says remain positive, ask for help from others. Remember that you don't have to go through things alone. You will start to see movement, change, resolution, positive signs within the next few months. I do feel like whatever timeline that you have been asking about or whether or not things were going to go in your favor you'll definitely start to see like i said forward movement positive changes or clarity the answers that you seek within the next few months okay sagittarius that is your reading i really hope it resonated with you remember to give it a thumbs up guys your playlist is here whatever other reading i have for you here and to book a personal reading the link is in the description box down below i did open up a few um a few dates there uh thank you to those that did come by the mystic market it was wonderful to read for all of you guys and get to know each other um so yeah let's see what the next reading has in store for you take care have a great month bye